My friend, I'm ready to go if you are, ne? My friend, come here, come here, come here. Turn around. Is that a panty line? Ha, Aman, my friend. Do you know you have a panty line? Like it's showing, I can see your whole bendy. And you're fine with it. No, man, my friend. You're a whole grown adult and you still don't know. Panty lines, my friend. Ha, Aman, panty lines are childish. It's either you're going to change the panty or you're going to change the pants. You decide, but I'm not leaving with you like this. I mean, I can't believe it. In 2020, panty line. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die. Hey gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kobana Shimange and this is how I do things. A show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now I can take it as advice or use it as entertainment. Use it, don't use it, do what you will with it. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now if, if you know me, ne? then you know that panties are a very important and essential part of my life and my conversation. Alright? When it comes to panties, it is an important part of our lives because it is something that happens between me, myself, and I. So we cannot be walking around with panties that are not up to date, up to scratch. We walk around, we have these nice outfits on, we're looking good, our makeup is done, our hair is done, but our panties, we're wearing a lace panty that has a hole in it. You know, that part of the panty has started to fade. You know what I'm talking about. You know the part of the panty on the inside, now when it starts to fade, that sekel there, you know it. You know that sekel. You know it. And you're wearing a panty right now with that sekel. And it's natural. That circle happens, you know? Because the washing, the wearing, the sekel. Right, not even. Your bra, there's a wire. You can feel it and you know Give it about two weeks you will see it you can i mean you know that you bought this thing and it was you know a teal color and now the teal has changed to blue and um it's not the color that you bought it in you know you look at your panties and you're just like how long have i actually had this thing i see you i see you anyway i say great the thing is, sometimes we actually don't know how to pair the right bra with the right outfit. What What is bra etiquette? What is underwear etiquette? How does this underwear thing actually work? Because by its name, it's supposed to be under what we wear, but how do we keep it there? Or how do we show it in a classy way? Today, I'm going to give you the 411 on how you're supposed to pair your underwear with what you're wearing for the day. These are the eight rules to live by. And if you have any other rules, you can always let me know in the comment section. But if you have a question that you want to send to me, whether it is for a Fashion Friday or Chat It Tuesday or a cozy conversation, whatever it is that has to do with us being women, then head over to my Instagram at Kopana Shimange and look for this picture right here. Reply and let me know what question you want me to talk about in our next video. And if it's juicy and if it's good enough, I'll definitely do a video all about it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the etiquette of underwear. Whoa, before we get there. You and your Zwabe, have you subscribed to my channel? I know that you binge watching my stuff. And if you've been binge watching, go, why don't you just subscribe? Join the La Familia. Make sure that you are part and parcel of our daily uploads every single day at 7.30 South African time. And we have a live chat and a live premiere every day. So if you wanna come and chat to me and the rest of the morning party, join us 7.30 every single day. But don't leave without subscribing. Yes, you, the one with the Zwabe. You need to change your underwear. It needs to be the right size. I'll tell you more about it now. Number one, the bra strap. Should it show or should it not show? Personally, I say it shouldn't show. Or should it show? Hmm. Look, when it comes to this situation, I would say don't show the bra strap. Get yourself a strapless bra or a bra where you can remove the straps. You can clearly see that this dress does not have additional straps. It's not the right color. It does not match. So if you have something that is 
got no shoulders if you've got a spaghetti string top so a spaghetti string top is where your top the, the string is just the same or maybe thinner than a bra strap then what you want to do is just don't show the bra strap at all so the type of bras that you want to look at to avoid this situation actually let's fix it <sighs> okay that is much better we fixed it so the type of bra strap that you want to get or the bra that you want to get to wear something like this is one like this it's a strapless bra that's going to hold and cup your boobs now the thing about strapless bras is that sometimes we feel that they're going to make our boobs look very flat but strapless bras have changed you can get the ones that are cupped so that they are cupped in a way to either bring your boobs up or to bring them closer together gone are the days where we have to just wear this one strap that makes it look like we're wearing a bandage over our boobs that's not how strapless bras work the type that i like to buy are the ones where i can remove or put back the strap because sometimes you have a single strap thing or one off the shoulder situation where you just want to remove one strap number two the color of the strap actually matters now sometimes you may have something that's got a really thin strap and you want to wear it with a bra that has straps instead of wearing a strapless bra then the strap of the bra does matter if you're going to have a black top have black straps if you're going to have a white top have white straps so that you don't cause too much you know confusion looking at the outfits and you're thinking to yourself that is not the color of the outfit why does she have two different colors on her shoulders number three seeing the bra through the top is a no-no unless you're doing it on purpose so let me show you the difference when you're doing it on purpose it's usually with a sheer top or a bra that deserves to be seen and that is completely different from when you're wearing a t-shirt but you can see the shape of the bra through the t-shirt need to learn how to invest in the right bras to avoid the situation or have the right shape now what happens with when you're wearing a t-shirt and you can see the bra through the t-shirt so you're seeing the top part of the bra through the t-shirt like you can see the shape usually what happens with that is that you might have the wrong cup size or you're wearing the wrong shape altogether so to avoid this make sure that your cups fit your boobs properly that they're cupping them correctly and the top part isn't showing now the looser your top the less you're going to see your bra but the tighter your top the more you're going to see it so if your top is quite tight and you can't find any bra that's going to work with this then what you need is a bralette now this is an all lace bra it doesn't have the cup shape that shows and it sits flat on your body that way you can wear any top with a bralette and you actually will not see the bralette underneath however if you are going to be wearing your sheer tops or the tops where you want to see the bra you want to make sure that you're wearing a bra that again it's not the shape that people are seeing but the bra underneath as part of the fit so bralettes work very well for this as well but anything lacy that is trimmed may work as well but you might want to have a t-shirt bra that's plain black plain white plain blue whatever matches with the sheer top that you're wearing on top number four if you really do want to hide your bras under the tops that you're wearing especially your t-shirts especially your, your 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 button ups the ones that are really going to be your best friend are the tan or beige bras as well as your t-shirt bras or seamless bras Ooh, invest in seamless bras now seamless bras and seamless underwear are really really going to be your best friend for wearing them under anything button up or wearing it under any t-shirts these tend to just sit on your body and they are it's hard for you to pick up on them underneath the clothing if you're one of those people who really struggles with the shape of the bra showing so the cup of the bra showing that you're wearing a specific type of bra then you want to invest in your seamless or beige underwear because that just sits and it doesn't get seen now i've got quite a small cup so i often tend to struggle with this one because i've got quite a small cup so what i actually do is that majority of my bras are push-up bras and the reason why is because with a push-up bra there's a lot of padding inside it cups my boob and then from there it actually covers it properly so if i don't get a push-up then i might get a cup that is too small for my bust so if you have a small bust invest in your push-up bras because the push-up bras tend to cup your boobs enough to actually hide the cup and make them fit better when you're a bit bigger you can actually start to buy different types of cups that don't need to be push-up or have extra padding for it to sit properly on your bust now let's move a little downwards number five panty lines are childish my mother told me this and I told my husband this. So every time he sees me have a panty line, he's just like, remember what your mom said? 
panty lines are childish and i was a bit touched when my mother said this but it's because she saw it in another woman and she's like i just i just i don't understand i'm starting to i don't understand panty lines as well again seamless underwear your best friend but you want to try and match what you're wearing with your underwear a lot of the times as women we wear our panties first right so we wear the bra and the top and then we look for the rest of the outfit and that's what causes the panty line but it should actually work the other way around you should start with the outside what are you wearing with the outside and then only choose the inner way okay so instead of letting your underwear lead the outfit let your outfit lead the underwear and that's how you avoid panty lines matching the right panty with the right outfit is going to help you avoid those childish things on your bum. Again, seamless, seamless, seamless is your best friend. Now, there used to be a time where thongs were in, but you don't always have to wear thongs. You know, we've come up with seamless underwear, my darling. And seamless underwear works perfectly fine. What I love about seamless underwear, the underwear that I have is actually highway seamless underwear. So it comes up right close to the belly button and then it's still a bikini and it still works very well even with whatever outfits I'm wearing you can't see a thing and they are so comfortable if you do not have seamless underwear just give it a try you will not regret it but thongs still do the trick if I'm not wearing a seamless underwear then I'm wearing a laced thong with the cotton at the bottom I'm gonna get to the cotton at the bottom in a second but when you are wearing a lace thong, it is slightly a bit more. So it's got the trimming on the top and it gets thin at the bottom. And at the front, it looks like a full underwear. And it's very, very comfortable. I've got a number of these. And if I'm not wearing this, then I'm wearing my seamless. And it avoids the panty line situation altogether. Number six, you need to have the right size of underwear. Now, the right or the wrong size can cause you multiple problems not just about how it looks but how it treats you down there we don't want to be causing lines we don't want to be suffocating our little girl so you want to have the right fit when it comes to your underwear if something is causing the lines at the top and along our bottoms and feels a little bit like it's chafing between you know here by the bikini line then it is way too small Alternatively, you can actually wear underwear that is too big for you. If you have a seamless pair of panties and you can still see them, it means that it's too big for you. Seamless underwear needs to just sit, right? It's one of those underwears that it doesn't feel tight and it doesn't feel loose. It, it's actually, it feels invisible. It feels like it's not even there because it's just sitting on your body. So if it starts to stretch and it causes those horizontal lines across your body it just shows that it is too small and if it starts to chafe or feel uncomfortable along the bikini line again it's too small you want something that breathes but at the same time isn't baggy as soon as it gets baggy that's when you need to change it if you feel as though your bikini line your bikini underwear so the ones that look like a triangle if you feel as though those ones are baggy for you, then you want to change your brand. Number seven, this also helps you to avoid those panty lines and for you to actually have the right underwear to match with what you're wearing. Shape matters. There was a time in my life where I only had your low cut underwear, where everything was here. That's where all my underwear started. That's where all my underwear finished. No matter if it was a boy brief or if it was a bikini, it was all here. But then I started to grow up and I realized that just the same way that you can have a pair of jeans that are super high waist, mid rise, low, medium rise is the same way that you can have underwear. So like I said, I have some high waist underwear and I've got some low waist underwear and a woman needs all of those variations because sometimes you'll be wearing a high waist skirt and yes you won't have the panty line which is on the bum but you'll have the strap that shows over here so the one that's by like the top of the bra and that's the one that starts to irritate you when you're wearing high waist things and i wear quite a lot of high waist things so i had to make a plan so you can also have high waist underwear that actually helps you to avoid the line at the top and the line at the bottom so having high waist mid rise underwear also helps you to avoid those problems when you're wearing high waist now i've seen this a lot where somebody's wearing a dress and then you can see the panty line right here again 
seamless or high waist things will help you to avoid that panty line. So even if you're wearing thongs and you're avoiding this panty line, the waist panty line and the hip panty line is just as important. Please, eh? Please. So the whole shape of the underwear really, really matters because you can get your high waist bikini shape. So it still has a triangle at the bottom, but the top part comes nice and high, works really beautifully with your high waist. Then you can still have your low cut bikini. It's a little lower, still got the triangle. You have your thong, same with the thong. There's a thong that rises high on the sides and goes has a very deep V. And then there's the thongs that have the low waist, right? So that sit at the hip and they may cause that line if you're not wearing anything that is either, you know, looser on the body or something that is a pair of pants that go on the same waistline. Then you have your boy briefs. I really love boy briefs. They're so comfortable, but they cause a lot of panty lines. And a lot of the times with boy briefs, you don't get the right cotton that you need at the bottom. So with boy briefs, they're super comfortable. If you feel as though you want to go to gym, these are like my gym ones. They never, ever, ever, never drop it. Zoppe is a thing of the past. I'll never get a zoppe with these ones. Never, 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 never. Zoppe? Mm, no, no, no. Never. Boy briefs. Boy briefs. Avoid zoppe altogether. Altogether. Which is another thing. If you've got a zoppe, meaning, what is a zoppe in English? A wedgie. If we have a wedgie, it also is a, a sign of whether your pants fit or not. So you want to avoid getting wedgies. If you have a pair of underwear that is always just slipping in between the crack, it just means that it's the wrong size, all right? So it's also the shape and the size. So make sure that you don't get any toppes. Toppes are no, no, no. So all of these different shapes come in different types of makes. So you can have your high waist bikini seamless panty, and then you can have other types. So it's, it depends on the fabric, how the ends are being cut. The difference between something that's seamless and is not seamless is that it is not stitched on the ends. It almost looks like they cut it. So it's it's got no, no stitching at the end and it's very smooth at the ends and that's how it's seamless. So where you avoid the stitching at the ends of your panty, that is a seamless panty. So you can get either seamless or stitched at the ends and those ones work very beautifully depending on the shape and what you pair it with. And finally, number eight. We need to look after our little girls. So no matter what type of underwear you buy, seamless, lace, cotton, um, synthetic fibers, whatever it is that you're buying, you want to make sure that you have cotton down there, right? Cotton at the bottom. So even if it is lace at the top, synthetic fibers at the top, it could be um, spandex, it could be whatever it is at the top and at the back, but at the bottom, the part of the fabric that cups the vagina that needs to be cotton. And this is what I like about Google Intimates. Um, my first pair of Google Intimates were given to me on my bridal shower and I really, really love them because as much as they have a different type of cotton, a different type of fabric at the top and on the bum, at the bottom, it's only cotton. And the same should work for your lace. The same should work for your spandex. The same should work for whatever it is that you're using. Cotton at the bottom. And it is a non-negotiable. If you're the type of person who tends to struggle and might have some yeast infections or you get quite moist down there, you need to get something that is breathable. So irrespective of, what, of whatever type of fabric they're using at the front and the back, cotton at the bottom will help your little girl stay healthy all the time. And you know what I say, sleep without the panty sans panties and your little girl will be happy now i hope that this really worked out for you guys this was a guide on basically what you need to know about the underwear you're wearing underneath now the topic of underwear i could keep going on and on and on because i just i just like panties i love panties the, the, uh, the topic of panties just makes me happy so now next one i think what we need to do is we need to talk about the checklist what types of underwear does a woman need in her wardrobe i think that's a good one i think we'll talk about that next but let me know what you guys thought about this one the rules of wearing underwear what do you wear under your clothes how do you pair your outerwear with your inner wear we'll talk all about the checklist on our next friday 
maybe yeah on our next fashion friday but if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions that you want me to talk about in our next video let me know in the comment section down below but thank you so much for making it right until we, the end we've made it past 100 videos that is crazy i hope that you guys enjoyed this one until next time i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I'm talking panties darling and I love panties. Give me a panty any day. Give me a panty budget in my life. I'll be happy. Do you love panties as much as I love panties? Just let me know in the comment section down below. But before you go, make sure that you have subscribed to my channel. Just hit my face right here and you'll be subscribed. It's completely freezies and it lets the girl know that you are enjoying what is coming your way. And until next time, make sure that you Subscribe to my website, www.kopanishmangi.com. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.